Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, the station where you watch and learn. And today I will be taking you through Form 4, English Lesson 34. I'm your tutor, Madam LC. Our topic will be writing, and our subtopic will be essay writing. By the end of the lesson, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to define an essay. So you first define an essay. Then secondly, you describe the characteristics of a good essay. So let's first define an essay. So an essay is a written speech used to talk about a specific topic. You can see an example of an essay, a picture with an example of an essay. So it is used to talk about a specific topic that you may be given. So in writing an essay, you should analyze the essay topic. So first have your topic, you analyze it well, then understand the topic you are dealing with so that you can be having an idea of what the topic is all about. Then write down the gathered information and make sure they are in accordance with the essay topic. Then you combine the strong points by writing them in prose so we have an example of an essay question women are portrayed as loving and self-sacrificing in adults house write an essay to show the truth of this matter so when you are given such a question first analyze the essay read the question once more and you analyze the question well so that when you start when you start writing an essay you should have you will be having all the information about the the question or the topic so we have characteristics of a good essay so we have first we have the beginning it has at least three sentences so after the topic we have the beginning which has three at least three sentences the first sentence has the introduction and the main overview of the main and primary topic the second sentence contains the this statement of them of the of the topic then you have the body the body is the main section of the essay so of the introduction or the beginning we have the body which is which is the main section of the essay it can be put into many paragraphs with regards to the content of the writer so for example you have uh, five points so our your paragraphs will be eight and then we have talks about the subject on the main points and then we have which paragraph has a different subtopic whereby each topic talks about a different idea so like i've said if you have let's say three 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 ideas so each idea should be carried in one paragraph it should be written in one paragraph and then we have the body gives all information being presented so it gives all the information that should be presented after the body we have the ending your ending paragraph sums up the entire essay so it's like the summary of what you have you have talked about or the summary of your essay so in your ending restate your topic you state the topic again restate your essay statement briefly touch on every topic in your essay in the last sentence and in most essays the ending paragraph is what people remember and that is the end of our lesson and i will require you to do the following assignment you write an essay with the support that Fortune can sometimes lead us to calamities and bad domains with reference to the pearl by John Steinbach. And for reference, you can refer to you can refer to English English Book Four, Secondary English Book Four, KLB. And for more information, you can contact us on our SMS number zero seven twenty three fourteen forty two fifty nine. At a, and YouTube at Elimu TV, Facebook Elimu TV and Twitter at Elimu TV underscore Kenya.